Hello and welcome on in to another Jack Rockhold review. Today I am reviewing the much anticipated, m probably the most popular Lego set ever, and this set that sold out in like one minute on Lego.com on its release day in Europe. It is set number. Ah, sorry. Ah. It is set number seven five two eight zero. For ages seven and up, five five oh first Legion clone troopers with two hundred and eighty five pieces. This is an awesome set. I will dive into more of that in later in the video. Let's take a look at these awesome five oh first minifigures and the battle droids. So we'll go we'll start from with the probably the least desirable minifigure. You get two battle droids. Just normal battle droids. So I guess if you buy a lot of these, it's a pseudo, pseudo droid battle pack. Nice. Get some extra battle droids to fight against your 501st clone battalion. And here are three, yes, count them, three normal 501st clone troopers. Two of them have the normal gun. The other one has the clone style sniper. Really awesome there. They use the candle stick piece on the end there to make it look more accurate to the show. And then my favorite, as I use it for my own custom clone, is the 501st Jet Trooper. It looks a bit like Fives, at least the helmet does. Um, it comes with just a normal blaster. You have a lot of, of a bit more blue under here, and something different with him, with him is that he has the blue arms instead of white arms, and oh, sorry, and where the gray is on these ones, it's blue. That looks really cool. And the newest, uh, probably the coolest thing I guess maybe, is um uh, the new clone faces, more accurate to Django Fett. Look at that. And then the 501st Jet Trooper also has a blue jet pack to boot. So that's it for the minifigures. Very awesome minifigures. Great to build your army with. But before I go, I would like to compare the original 501st Trooper. So this, back in the day, in 2013, came in two sets. The 501st ATRT. And the uh, Z95 Headhunter. So these are pretty awesome. I was personally given this one by a friend. So I do not have the any of those sets in hand. So as you can tell, it's much more... Kind of bring it up close. It's much more Clone Wars stylish. So very much Clone Wars. Whereas compared to this set, you have a combination of episode... Excuse me, sorry. Of episode 3 and the Clone Wars. As you can tell by the chest and the helmet visor and everything like that. And the one thing that people are calling out about these new troopers are the hip pieces. See the old one? Obviously. Has the blue one. Or black ones, excuse me. The new ones have white ones with like these little black bits here. I don't know if you can see it very well. The lighting here is not very good. But other than that, really nice. And here you have the OG style clone head. That's like the best. Oh, the lighting just improved here. Alright. And then, of course, you have the new style clone. Alright. So let's move on away from the minifigures and talk about the builds. So, for $30, you get a... 501st ATRT, which people complain are is still too big, but I think it's cool, you know, just, I guess, trying to keep it, in, you know, make it earn that price. I'll get to the stud shooters in a moment, I will show you how to make them more accurate to what is actually shown in the Clone Wars TV show and other Star Wars, Clone Wars era media. So you get the 501st ATRT, so here you have a sticker. Here, for the 501st, you have a sticker here for the arrow, you have a sticker on this double cheese slope, you have a sticker there, you have a 
and then the stickers are mirrored on that side, and then sticker on the leg here, that's mirrored on both sides. And then in here, you have a printed control panel. Here you have some binoculars, and there's two clips on each side, which is perfect for this. Which is perfect for when you want to when you want to put on your 501st trooper. You just turn the hands like so, load him on, like if he'll go on there. Load him on like that, and then you know you might be wondering. Not you might be wondering where do you put the blaster? Z. You just clip on the sniper or whatever onto the back here. You get the idea. And then you have just a blaster on the back here. So it's a really nice way of storing it. And I really like that because then you. Then you don't just have a normal a blaster just lying around. Um, I like how they do the joints here, just like with these dishes, I guess. Radar dishes, though, we you call them. And one thing that this ATRT is getting a lot of flack on, I mean a lot, is just this cannon. It's not really a 501st can or an ATRT cannon. I'll show you how to fix that, too, in this video. Legs, of course, are posable, because there's on those ratchet joints. And the toes, of course, are po posable as well. Now let's get on to the bark speeder, which is really long. It's longer than what it seems. So here you just have the skis and nice handlebar, like nice handlebars here. Nice engine intake. I love this. I love that technique so much. This, the point here on the front, if I can get it off, is a new piece, I believe, for 2020. Comes in a gray piece. Looks really good. I love that it's that the bark speeder has a pointed bit because it just makes it more, you know, just believable, I guess. There's a Nexo, blue Nexo Knight shield there, which is really nice to get. Sticker here. Sticker here. Sticker here. And a sticker here. The two side stickers are stickers you're going to want to line up or else it won't look as good. Here you have some side blasters. And here you have stud shooters up on the front. I will show you how to make those more accurate if you'd like to. Um, down here you have the engine intake again or something like that. And then here you just you can see the minifigure. I won't do that here for, for just review's sake. Um... So yeah, that's it. I will show you how to modify these two to make them pretty much perfect. So, the pieces that you will need are these. Three dark blue studs. One brick that has a hole in it. And then one of these set, one of these poles. I know it comes in the X-Wing. And I'm sure a few other sets that have come out. And if you have this in your collection. Or even if you can modify this to have just the brick with like a hole in it. You could use one of these pieces. So either way, it's good. So basically, here's what you do. So here's what you do. Just like that. So here is what you would do. So first, let's, ro let's break off this cannon here. Let's shoot down this piece here, and then we will load it in with the brand new blue stick, more accurate. And we'll turn this over, put that on, now you have the good long cannon. And then, just, the, blue, the cannon will break off occasionally, it just depends on what you're kind of doing with it. Put this on here. And boom, you have yourself a proper ATRT. Look at how good that looks. Alright, now that we're done with this, we are going to move on to, to the bark speeder here. So what I'm going to do 
take out these red studs because this is these red studs are not at all accurate to what the Bark Speeder ATRT most Republic vehicles fire. If you go back to any, if you go back to any, like watch any Star Wars uh, media, I guess like Clone Wars especially, you'll know that they shoot blue lasers, and so just put in dark blue or even light blue for that matter studs in there and you have yourself a more accurate one or if you don't want to deal with that take off the stud shooter and leave it like that same thing goes for the ATRT just take off the stud shooter leave the mini ball joint and have yourself a good ATRT so that is it for the review um I will catch you guys later peace